Nowadays, the large amount of data need to be stored and accessed in the server inside the data center. The communication channel for each server in the same location requires high bandwidth from the large data size. Also, the network channel for sharing the data among multiple servers that are installed at different location is very important. It will be the critical point and bottleneck of the overall system if the connection for network crossing does not have enough bandwidth or can't utilize network bandwidth effectively. One hundred G Ethernet connection is the ideal solution for solving large amount of data problem in the data center. Supporting one hundred gigabit per second for transferring data with the reasonable infrastructure cost satisfy the data center's requirements. However, connecting to one hundred G Ethernet system by using the one hundred G standard network card. There are the researches that show the limited performance when using standard NIC for transferring one TCP session. About 68 gigabit per second can be achieved or 68% of the maximum bandwidth of 100G Ethernet. Besides, sometimes the network performance graph is dropped because CPU and the OS switch to handle other tasks. Next, let us show the details of CPU task for handling TCP IP packet by using the standard NIC. The software on CPU consists of many parts for processing each network layers. Starting from the low layer, device driver, network subsystem, TCP IP stack, socket interface, and the application are implemented. From the CPU bottleneck, the complete CPU offload engine, implemented by accelerator card, is purposed. Most CPU tasks for handling TCP IP packet are handled by the TOE 100G IP and LVO accelerator card instead. There are two key hardwares inside the LVO accelerator card, TOE 100G IP and DMA engine. In center process, DMA engine transfer the data from the system memory to TOE 100G IP. After that, TOE 100G IP builds the Ethernet packet that includes the application data and transfers to the target system via 100G Ethernet. In receiver process, TOE 100G IP extracts the application data from the received Ethernet packet on 100G Ethernet. Next, DMA engine transfers the application data from TOE 100G IP to the system memory. The application can process the data on the system memory. Let's see the data flow for send process in more details. Firstly, TOE application generates the data, called TCP payload, and then write to the main memory. Next, TOE application sends the request to DMA engine for transferring the data from the main memory to TOE 100G IP via TOE function. Finally, TOE application sends the request to TOE 100G IP for creating Ethernet frame that includes TCP payload data and sending to the target system. The performance result when the test application writes the incremental data is up to 9180 megabyte per second. Without the task to generate incremental data and use dummy data instead, peak performance on 100G Ethernet at 12300 megabyte per second can be achieved. In receive process, the data flow is inversed. TOE 100G IP receives and extracts the TCP payload from Ethernet frame and transfers to DMA engine. Next, DMA engine uploads the data to the main memory and asserts the signal to the TOE application that the new data is arrived. TOE application reads the data from the main memory and verifies it. Similar to send process, the performance is about 9700 megabyte per second. When the application verifies the received data, without data verification, the application shows the peak performance at 12,300 megabyte per second. Now we show the demo of TOE 100G IP by using two accelerator systems. The accelerator system consists of the LVO card which is U50 or U250 and the turnkey system. Run the application. TOE 100 DMA test, on two turnkey systems. The left side console shows the IP that is initialized by server mode. 
The right side console shows the IP initialized by client mode. To show the half duplex transfer, the left side console selects send data test menu by using 256 gigabytes. Jumbo frame size is applied. The right side console selects receive data test menu. Without enabled test data generating and verification, 12,300 megabyte per second can be achieved. When running full duplex transfer, the performance result is about 10,000 megabyte per second. The TOE 100G IP with Alveo card demo can be applied to the real-time data processing application. The system can transfer the large size data in very short time which is the core feature for this application. When the bandwidth is not enough, the number of 100G Ethernet connections can be increased by adding more Alveo cards. One TOE 100G IP is designed to handle one TCP session data. When multiple TCP sessions are required for transferring many data types, multiple TOE 100G IPs and DMA engines can be integrated to the accelerator system. When the accelerator system needs to support both TCP IP and UDP IP protocols, the UDP 100G IP can also be integrated and work together with TOE 100G IP. Hope this video can show you the advantage of TOE 100G IP Core and Alveo Accelerator Card for 100G Network Application. For more information, please visit our website, shown on the description below. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.